Hello everyone and welcome to project number seven of utility mapping special projects. In this project we're going to collect data using the R80 robotic total station by StoneX. Here's what we cover. We're going to create a project in cube A. We're going to set up the R80 total station. We're going to get ready to collect data and we're going to collect utility data. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a project in QBA software. We need to set a coordinate system. We need to connect to the R80 total station and the GNSS receiver. We need to ensure everything is connected. QBA is the mobile software that runs on your Android tablet and it connects to both the total station and the GNSS receiver via Bluetooth. It collects all the positions from the GNSS receiver and the R80 total station and stores that and you can export your data. It has a ton of features and functionality that we won't go into in this lesson, but just know QBA is the mobile software that talks to the GNSS receiver and the R80 total station. The next thing we want to do is set up the R80 total station. There's several ways to do this including station on point and resection. We only need two points for the station on point and we would need three points for the resection. So we're going to do the station on point. That entails putting two nails in the ground like the last previous lesson. We will use the GNSS receiver to collect the two points. We can use any StoneX GNSS receiver with QBA software. We use the S700A in this lesson. After we have the position of two points, we can set the R80 total station up over one of the nails in the ground. And then we will set the prism and the rod over the second nail. We can use a bipod to set that pole up so it stands up on its own. Then we use cube A to set up the total station and we simply click the calibrate button down at the bottom. Once we set up our R80 total station and we connect to it, we connect to our GNSS receiver, we set our coordinate system and create our project. Once we do this and collect two points, we're ready to set the total station up on one of those points. So we can go down here, click calibrate and station on point. We want to make sure the total station is selected and we can set that total station up. Once we have the total station set up on the tripod over one of our nails and we have leveled it off and we have the laser plummet directly above our nail, we are ready to collect data. So up to this point we've put two nails in the ground. We've used our GNSS receiver to collect the positions of those nails down to centimeter level accuracy and we've set up the R80 total station on top of one of the points and it knows where it is on the planet and which direction it's looking. We are now ready to collect data but there's just a couple more steps we need to be aware of and those are mostly centered around safety. We need to be prepared and we need to be safe. We need to watch for moving vehicles. I would recommend wearing the Party Chief Survey vests. These are excellent quality vests that are comfortable. They are nice looking. They are out of your way and they fit well. This is one of the green ones that they have. Again, this is a vest by Safety Apparel. You want to know your surroundings. If there's people walking past you, if there's animals, and you want to look out for snakes, poison ivy, hornet's nests, just know that you know when you're walking around with this prism, A, it's kind of heavy. B, you need to make sure that you know what you're doing and you need to avoid vehicles, pedestrians, and anything that can hurt you or you could hurt somebody else. So you really are paying attention to the robot, but you need to pay attention to your surroundings as well. So once you are set up, it is time to collect data. It is time to walk around your, your stormwater networks, your water, your paint marks, 
stand on top of your positions and let the total station shoot that prism or capture data with the GNSS receiver. So we're going to walk out your paint marks. We're going to take shots along the marks. We can use codes to manage data and we can keep an eye on tracking and we can use the GNSS if you lose the prism. So right here on the side of the screen, I am in the survey mode that shows a map. It's got some buttons on the screen. I can zoom in and out. You can do measurements. You can select points. You can turn on your streets and you can change whether you're going to collect a, just a single point or you're going to actually collect a line or, a, or an area. You can enter your codes and select your codes here. So I entered some codes previously and you can, you can do a couple other things. So right here, num point number one, this is my first nail in the ground and this is my second nail. I'm going to set up the total station right here on point number one. I shoot point two and I'm ready to go. So I could walk around and there's a storm manhole drain inlet right here. I would stand here and collect point three. I could collect four separate points for each, each corner of the actual drain inlet if I wanted. And then this drain actually runs down here to the building and empties out right here. So I would actually walk down here and collect another point. And there's more drains around this project area. So we are ready to collect data at this point once you get set up and you're talking to your GNSS receiver and your R80 total station. So we need to occupy a known point. I just kind of want to explain a little bit about how this works. Point number one in this screenshot is right here. This is where I set the R80 total station up. Point two is the prism and the pole, what we call the back site. This is point number two. Once set up, the R80 knows the azimuth from north to point two. So this R80 total station that sits up on point one knows the angle to point two from north. Okay, so any object it shoots, the prism, or reflectorless objects, reflective paper, it can calculate the position using the distance and angles from the R80. All points are stored in Cube A software on the tablet. So if you know this angle here, this angle from north all the way back around to point two, and you turn the R80 total station to point 14, it knows the angle, it knows the distance, it can calculate the position of 14. Now we know that position. We know the, the northing and the easting. We can convert that to latitude and longitude, and we can add that information to our GIS. Again, the total station was set up on point one. The back site, the prism and pole is set up on point two. And once you set it up, you can collect positions along your utility paint marks, such as this electrical line. And then the total station calculates the northing and easting values and stores it in your points. And then we can convert that and import it into GIS software. So the end result, again, is high accuracy data, angles, distances, measurements, northings, eastings, elevations, and calculated positions. All of our data is tied to a nail in the ground. We can collect positions underneath tree canopy, beside buildings, next to towers, next to mountains. We do not have to worry about satellites being obstructed by the views of objects above us. We can collect data inside of buildings. We can do underneath all kinds of infrastructure underneath bridges you name it and busy and busy cities with tall buildings we can survey using the r80 total station and this prism because if this total station knows where it is on the planet because we're set up over a known position anything we shoot we can use the angle and the distance to calculate the position of this prism 
Okay, so I think it's demo time. We're going to go out into the field and we are going to show you how this works. Again, here's just a quick basic outline of the field steps. We're going to put two nails in the ground. We're going to collect the position of each nail. We're going to set up the R80 over one of the nails. We're going to set the prism up over the second using a bipod. We're going to set the R80 total station up using Cubase software. And we're going to collect data of your utility marks. The equipment needed is the R80 total station, which is this part right here. We're going to need a tripod, which is this part right here, the three legs right here that the R80 total station stands up on. We're going to need the survey pole. We might need a bipod for the survey pole. We're going to use a Stonex S700A GNSS receiver, which is this right here. We're going to use a prism. We're going to use a couple nails, some flags, and Cubase software, which runs on the UT10 tablet. So, who is ready for demo time? We're going to go out into the field. We'll show you everything out in the field, what we do, how to set it up, how to collect data, and then we'll bring it back into the office. And then the next lesson, we'll show you how to import it into your favorite QGIS or ArcGIS online software. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Hey everyone, we're out here in the field. We're gonna go over the process, some of the tools that we're gonna use in this project, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna turn this camera around show you what we have so we've got the tripod the prism and pole and the bipod i've got the s700a gnss receiver this is the pouch for the prism so i've got the prism in there i'm going to put it on top of the pole and then put the s700a on top of it i got the r80 total station robotic total station just got my bags of goodies i got my plumb bob Plumb bob, the S500, thumb drive, I've got the Party Chief survey vest, and I've just got the case for the R80. And I've got the UT10 tablet in my hand right here. I've already put some red flags in the ground. I've put the one nail and the second flag for my backside in the ground. I'll turn the camera around and show you the project area, and then we will get started. So we've got a low voltage line running out of this building and it runs, there's the first flag. I've got the second flag and this line runs underground. The third flag's right there and it runs underground to that light pole right there. So we're just gonna survey this low voltage electrical line. I'm gonna set the total station up here and I've got my back sight, the prism up right there on that white flag. And we're going to go ahead and survey and map this electrical line using the R81 pole solution. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the S700A up. I'm going to connect to my VRS network and I'm going to collect the GPS positions of the two first points. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got the S700A, the prism on the pole. With the bipod set up on point number one, I'm going to open Cubase software and we're going to show you how to collect this information really quickly. And then we can set up the R80 total station on this first nail. We'll shoot our back sight, which is the white flag, and then we can come over here and shoot all these red flags and collect the data for this low voltage line. So right now, what I need to do is I need to connect to my phone. In my pocket this phone right here is my personal phone I'm going to turn on the hotspot and that's going to give me internet access to the UT10 tablet that I have right here in front of me so disregard this point right here but I'm just going to tap this button right up here in the top and it's going to connect to my Verizon network on my personal phone so now I've got internet on my UT10 tablet. I'm going to open up Cube A and I'm going to tap device. I'm going to shut this camera off. I'm going to tap device right there and I want to switch to 
GNSS, I need to tap communication and I need to connect to the S700. So I've already got it selected. I'm going to tap connect and it is just basically connecting to the GNSS receiver and using my VRS network for correction services. And as you can see, just like that, I've got a fixed position and I've got two centimeters of accuracy. In the top left, it shows the H.022. That's my horizontal accuracy in meters. Uh, if you want to connect to your VRS network, you just tap the data link button. And this is where you would enter your IP, your port, your user, and your password. So back out of that. I am ready to create a project and collect the first two points. So I'm going to tap the project button in the bottom left and then tap the project manager button. I'm going to tap new and I'm going to call this Nike. It's got the date and I'm going to call it Nike 3. I'll tap OK, accept the coordinate system. Project has been created. This is where I can change my projection and my ellipsoids. So I'm using the WGS84. And my projection is the Lambert Conic Conformal 2SP. That is Virginia State Plains South. And this is the coordinate system that I need to use for my local area. I'm going to tap OK. I'm going to tap Survey in the bottom left. Tap Point Survey. In the bottom left, I can tap this little arrow to turn on aerial imagery. And I am set up over the first nail. I'm going to collect the position. So in the bottom of the screen, I'm going to tap this button right here with the letters and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to tap total station. This is where I'm going to set up my total station. I'll tap OK. Now I need to move to point number two. So I'm going to pick this guy up with one hand and I'm going to walk over here to the white flag. I'm going to set the bipod and the pole up over the white flag it doesn't have to be perfect just shove it in the shove it in the ground somewhere near the white flag and then level it off and we are good to go okay so i've got the i've got the gnss receiver the prism the pole the bipod set up on my second point in the bottom i'm going to tap the codes I'm going to choose control point for this point. I'm going to tap control point. Everything's fine. You can change your measured height here if you want. I'm going to leave it at 1.8. I'm just doing a standard two meter height for both the R80 and the pole. I'm not too worried about elevations. This is only a 2D map, so I'm going to tap OK. And I've got two points on my map now. So I've got my my point one and my point two. Now what I'm ready to do is set the R80 total station up over point one and shoot the back site use cube a to set up the total station for me and then we're going to walk out these red flags and collect those so i'll go ahead and set up i'll go ahead and set up the r80 the tripod and we'll shoot this prism i have set up the tripod i've set up the r80 total station on the tripod i've leveled it off we're set up on point one i'm ready to shoot point two and set up the already total station and then collect some data as you can see this is the interactive screen on the r80 it shows that we are we are leveled off um, could probably level it just a hair more um, but i'm not too concerned about it for this training as you can see the laser plummet is showing Right there is the laser. We are right on top of the nail. Again, I'd rather get that a little closer, but I'm not too worried about it. There's the laser right there. As you can see, it's on my finger. So we're set up. We're ready. Um, next thing I want to do in cube A is we need to tap in the top right. I'm going to connect to the F60211, which is the serial number on the R80 right there. So I'm just going to tap connect and we're going to connect to the R80 via Bluetooth. Once we connect, we are connected to both the GNSS receiver and the R80 total station and we need to set up. So I'm going to tap calibrate. I'm going to switch to the R80 and this is where we tap station on point. This is telling 
cube A that the R80 is on point one and the prism is on point two. So let's tap station on point. We're gonna enter the point number that the station is on and then the instrument height. So I'm gonna tap that point button. I'm gonna choose point one, tap okay. Okay, and the instrument height, I'm just gonna round the two meters, tap next. And for the orientation point, this is point two. So I'm gonna select point two and tap select, tap okay. For the target height right here, I'm just gonna round up to two meters. And as you can see, it's populating the known coordinates of the prism. So it's got the easting, the norting, and the altitude. So I'm gonna tap measure. And as you can see, I'm locked in. I've got my, my lines centered right on that prism. I'm gonna tap measure full. This is gonna shoot that prism and calculate all the angles and the distances right here on the screen. As you can see, it said command completed. I'm gonna tap okay. It's gonna ask, do I want the to proceed? This is my distance residual. This is fine. I'm gonna tap yes. Current prism locked. Okay, so as you can see, we've set the total station up on point one and we shot point two. So what we are ready to do now is we are ready to collect some data. I am going to go grab that pole and walk around and we're gonna map out the low voltage electrical lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the pole, I'm gonna use the codes down here and I'm just gonna map points at each red flag. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red flags and then there's gonna be one shot at the building and one shot at the light pole. So I'm gonna just tap electrical point and this is where you can choose a point or a line. I'm just gonna choose points. I like to have points and I do the digitizing when I get back to the office. So I'm gonna turn this camera off and you'll notice on the map is a little red pin that's showing the prism. As I walk around, it's going to follow me on the map. And this little green circle up top with the lock, that is showing that the R80, the R80 is following me and it's locked in place. So there it is right there. As I walk around, it's gonna follow me. I don't know if you can see the red laser, but it is, it's locked in on this prism right here. And as I walk around, I'm gonna stand on the flags, like that red flag right there, and that red flag right there, and it's gonna follow me, and when I'm there and I'm level, I'm gonna type measure, and we're gonna collect and calculate that position. So, I am ready. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. I can change this map to street view, um, so you can see some of the streets. This is pretty neat. And let's go ahead and turn this camera off and get started. So I am just walking over to this red flag and as you can see it is moving on the map that that prism and pole is moving on the map so it is following me around and if it loses if it loses my position I can use the GNSS receiver to lock back in on this prism but so it will use the receiver to lock back in so I'm going to go ahead and start mapping these red flags out Okay, so as you can see, I'm set up on the first red flag that comes out of the building. I'm going to tap the little codes in the bottom. I'm going to choose electrical point, and when I do, it's going to take my measurement, and I'm going to tap OK. So I'm going to tap OK, and I've got point number three. Okay, so I've collected point number three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over to point number four. Okay, so I'm set up on point number four. As you can see, it has followed me to point number four. I'm just gonna go down here, tap electrical point, and tap okay, and there is point number four. So I'm ready to go to the next flag. I'm just gonna walk over to the next flag, and this is gonna follow me over there. Prism lost. Prism 
locked. Prism lost. Okay, so I am on the third flag. The prism lost me, so that's okay. I'm going to tap uh, search by GPS. So I'm going to tap this button up top, and I'm going to tap the search near GPS. And the R80 is going to find me based off the GPS position that is on top of the prism. Prism locked. Okay, so as you can see, the command completed. It found my prism. And I am on flag number three. So I'm going to tap the codes, electrical point, and tap OK. So now I'm ready to move to flag number four. As you can see, it's following and tracking me on the map. Prism lost. Okay, so if it loses your prism, that's okay. I was walking fast. I'm going to set up on this flag and I'm going to again tap that button, tap search near GPS and it is going to lock in on me. Prism locked. Okay, so as you can see, I'm right here. I'm going to tap electrical point, collect this position, and I'm going to move on to point seven, which is the fifth flag. Okay. So I'm going to tap this codes button down there, level the pole up, tap the electrical point, and tap OK for point number seven. Now I'm going to walk over to point number eight. All right, I'm at point number eight. I'm just going to tap electrical point. Tap OK, and we have point number eight. I'm going to do point number nine. OK, I'll tap electrical point. Tap OK, and we've got point nine. I'm going to do 10. Okay, we're going to do point 10, and then one more point right here at this light pole. So this is the end of the line. I'm right here at this light pole. I'm going to tap electrical point, tap OK, and we have mapped this low voltage electrical line. Okay, so as you can see, I got all the way to this light pole right here. We have mapped this whole low voltage line out using the R80 total station that runs over to that building. I'm going to go ahead and close this camera and let you see the data. We've got all these points. We've got point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I'm going to take this data back to the office and we're going to digitize it in QGIS and we can upload it to any other software that we would like. So that was just a quick field demonstration on how you can use the R80 one pole solution by StoneX to collect data out in the field using the robot. Using a total station, you can collect data underneath trees where you might lose GPS signal and you can use the GNSS receiver to find your position in case you lose your position due to obstructions from trees or buildings. So if you set that R80 total station up right here if you set that up and you go behind a building and you lose sight of the of the laser that's when you can use the uh, the GNSS receiver to collect that point it's probably not going to have as high of accuracy you might have a half a centimeter accuracy as opposed to a millimeter you know we're talking millimeters here on utilities that are 12 inches wide it's not that big of a deal this is an excellent solution 
for design engineering, inventory, survey work, anything that needs something a little bit better than just a little, you know, sub meter, sub foot receiver. Uh, very user friendly. This is an easy way. One person can go out and map utilities using this R80 total station. Very light, very easy to set up, very easy to use in Cubase software. So this lesson is concluded. If you have any questions, reach out. We'll see you in the next lesson where we take this data out of Cubase software and we convert it into GIS data and maps that we can deliver to our customers. Thanks, everybody.